Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Z and welcome back to another Minecraft vehicle tutorial. Today's tutorial is an awesome looking semi-trailer truck here built by Angry Death Truck, also known as Angrelay Motors. We're building this in default guys, but this looks awesome in Flows HD as well. So let's grab our blocks. First block you want to grab is a colored block. This also looks awesome in yellow. We want to grab some gray wool. You also want to grab a dispenser, a block of coal. You want to grab some stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, a hopper, an anvil, and we'll also grab an iron block. We'll get started on that. Now, the first thing you want to do is place your first coal block down, leave a three space gap, and then place another. Then you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. On the fourteenth block, you're going to place a block of coal, leave a space, and then place another block. And you're going to mirror image that. So from the top, guys, you should have something that looks like this. From this point, we're going to grab our stone brick slabs, and we're going to place one, two, three, four, five on the front, and then back again. And that's going to be your bumper. Then we're going to grab a dispenser and we're going to place two of them directly on top of one another in the center. From here, you're going to place your colored wool either side by two. And then you're going to grab yourself your stone brick stairs and you're just going to place that directly next to the hopper like so. So we've got that kind of look happening. Continuing on with the stairs, we're going to turn them upside down on the coal blocks. And there's your wheel arches. And then you're going to go back to your color block and you're going to come up by two. Just like that. Now we're going to go back to our stone brick stairs. We're going to place two down. And we're going to grab a hopper. We're going to place that there. And on top of the hopper, an anvil. So we come around here. One, two, hopper anvil. Just like that. Now inside with your colored wool, you're going to come in by one, two, and three. One, two, and three. You're going to fill that up. And you're going to come back by another six, seven, eight, and nine. Just like so. And then from this one, you're going to come up further. One, two, three, and four. Fill that up to the top. And you should have something that looks like that. From this point, what we're going to do is we are going to swap out our dispenser and we're going to grab an iron block and we're going to grab an iron block. Where we grab? We've got one in our hand. Okay. And grab a trapdoor. Now, with your iron blocks, we're going to come behind the hopper and place one, two, and three. And then with your trap doors, one, two, and three, right next to it, just like that. So you come behind the hopper, one, two, and three. Trap doors, one, two, and three, just like that. Now, whilst we're here and we're working on the iron blocks, we're going to dig down two lots. And this is for people that haven't got world edit. We're going to remove that section in here. And then we're going to grab ourselves a lever. And what we have to do is we have to flip these upside down underneath the iron block and just flick them on either side. One, two, and three. Flick, flick, and flick. Now we can just close that off. And that's going to give you the iron trap doors facing upways. Now from this point, what we're going to do is we're going to swap out into a cobblestone stairs. And behind the gas tanks, we're going to place two either side. And then we're going to grab our trap doors again and place two on top of the stairs. From this point, we're going to grab our stone brick slabs. And we're going to come to the stairs. And we're going to count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to close that off. Do 
just like that. With your stone brick stairs, we're going to place one behind the back tires. We're going to turn one upside down in the middle. We're going to face that opposite way. So you've got the wheel arches covering in the wheels. I'm going to do that again. One here and one here. So from the top, guys, you should have something that looks relative to that. Okay. From this point, what we're going to do now is we're going to grab some cobblestone wall. And with the cobblestone wall, you are going to place one behind the actual wheel latch on the front. And behind here, you're going to place on the anvil one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Like that. Back to your colored wall. We're going to come out on the actual gas, and we're going to come up by two, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we can remove two of the middle and replace that with your gray wool. Back to your blue wool, we're just going to close the top off. And you're going to close off the section remaining. At this point, we can grab our stone slabs again, and we can just close that off in the middle. Just like that. Beautiful. Now, from this point, I'm just going to clear my blocks. And I'm going to go and grab myself some signs. Some buttons. One of each. A bed. We're also going to grab some blue carpet, or the color of the, your choice. We're also going to grab a tripwire hook, some iron bars, and some glass bricks, and some glass panes. Now from this point, what we're going to do is we're going to use our glass bricks, and we're going to come up to the front, place one, two, and three, and we're going to do the same again here. And with the side panes, we're going to place one on the front. With your stone brick stairs, we're going to turn them around like so, leading right up to the front window. Do that either side. And you can don't whatever you want to do on the front, just fill it in just like that. With your carpet. We're going to cover the whole back, so one, two, three, four, five, and just keep filling it in on the top, just like that, and on top of the glass. From this point, we're going to grab our iron bars. We're going to come into our slabs. We're going to come up by one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Tripwire hook directly in the middle. With our stone brick stairs, we're going to turn on the gas tank on the last one. We're going to turn them upright like so. And with our signs, we're going to remove and put in those three. So one, two, three. One, two, and three. With our blue carpet, we're going to place one, two, and three on the back tires. One, two, and three, like that. On the back here, we're going to place three signs. One, two, and three in the middle. I'm going to come all the way down the front, and right where the door is here, behind the second block of glass, we're going to place a button. We're going to place buttons on the inside next to the Dispensers, and with the concrete buttons, one on each corner at the front. Put a sign on the actual truck, and we'll call this angry, just like that. 
continuing on with the signs, we're going to place one sign underneath the actual cobblestone wall. And with your concrete buttons, we're just going to place them on the actual black tires. On the front here, we're going to grab ourselves an item frame and place that on the front. And inside the item frame, we're going to place our beds. Continuing on with our black, our blue carpet, we're going to place one, two, and three on the front and one, two on the sides. Now we just clear our blocks and we will go and get our new lot. We are going to grab a block of coal, a dark oak wood fence gate. We're going to grab ourselves a stone pressure plate, a rail, some concrete buttons, levers. We're also going to grab ourselves some of these stone brick slabs and we're going to use some of these weighted heavy pressure plates now we're going to come right down the back with a heavy weighted pressure plates and we're going to place one on each corner like that and with the lever we're going to come in by one place the lever facing towards the cabin with your block of coal we're going to place one block on the Second trap door, we're going to place one here. And then we're just going to grab a block, which we've got to get another dispenser. We're going to place that one space behind the block of coal. From this point, we're going to grab ourselves a rail, and we're going to place one here, one at the top, and we're going to knock out the top rail. We're going to replace that with a stone brick slab. Then we're going to use two stone brick slabs, one and two. Then a slab. Then back with a coal block. With your dark oak wood fence gate, we're going to come to the top and open it up. With a sign, we're going to place that on the dispenser. With your concrete buttons, we're just going to place them on the tires. Just like that. Now what we've got to do is we're going to use ourselves a anvil. We're also going to grab ourselves a cobblestone stair. And we're going to come back to the end. Sorry, not a cobblestone stair, a cobblestone slab. We're going to place that directly behind the lever, and an anvil behind the tire. Around the back here, we're going to grab our item frame and a bed. We're going to place the item frame on the ends. Replace that with a bed for your brake lights. Put in a number plate as well. And I think we'll just check now and make sure that we've got everything sorted here. I think we have. No, we need to grab ourselves a ladder. And underneath the wooden button, we're just going to place a ladder. And with a lever underneath the window panes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is Angry's semi-trailer. How beautiful does that look? I'm just going to go over and have a quick look and see if we've missed anything. 
can go for the extra details here, which I'll just go and grab some buttons here. With the buttons, we place them either side of the lever. One, two. And with the levers, we're going to come directly here and place them facing in so it can actually hold on the motorcycle. And that is it. That is the build. So I'm just going to have a look now what it looks like in Flows HD for everyone to see. And I shall be right back. And there you go, guys. That's what it looks like in Flows HD. Nice and clean. Beautiful looking. And Angry's done a good job on this build. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, place a comment down below, Twitter and Instagram and all that jazz sitting in the description down below. Be sure to stick around for more live streams, vehicle tutorials and let's builds. A big shout out to Angry Death Truck for an awesome build. Place your comments down below. Tell us what your thoughts are on the truck. And I shall see you all on the next video. Bye bye.